not far from the port of Cotonou, the economic capital of Bini, sales lots packed with second-hand vehicles, mainly from Europe, stretch for kilometers. Bini is one of the five largest importers of used vehicles in Africa, according to a UN report published at the end of 2021. The West African country has only 11 million inhabitants, but it is the gateway to the markets of Burkina Faso, Niger, Chad, and especially its giant neighbor, Nigeria, the most populous country in Africa. For a used car buyer, Sekari Sise, whose income has been squeezed with the recent war in Ukraine and other macroeconomic factors, buying a 20-year-old vehicle is the only option as he lacks the resources to purchase a new one. I don't have the money to pay for a brand new car. The car I'm driving is a used one, and when I start it up, if you're not touching the vehicle, you can't even tell if it's turned on. So the used vehicle is always clean, does not pollute. These vehicles come mainly from Europe and Japan, and increasingly from South Korea or the United States, but are often very old or high pollution models. The majority of used cars are imported, edition, from Europe or America and also from Arab countries, like Dubai. People import pickups for X4S like Prados, car brand, edition, from Dubai, things like that. We import the majority from there. Importing used cars is a bit of a numbers game. In general per month, across all the parks and all the importers, the number exceeds 5,000 or 6,000 imported cars, dead. We've decided to be a dumpster so whether we like it or not, when we choose equipment that is already 10 years old, we can no longer hope to have the same pollution levels as a new vehicle. However, environmentalists say pollution generated by these old vehicles is a major concern and more awareness should be created to reduce the adverse effect and the harm it poses to the country. Today the solution is to go down to the garages, educate the mechanics, repeat that customers should buy quality spare parts, quality motor oils, those who can afford to buy electric cars should, but not many of us can afford these electric vehicles or these new cars sold by dealers. So it's about raising awareness so that we can at least reduce the high pollution levels created as a result of these vehicles coming from Europe and America. While regulating this important sector of the Beninese economy and a major provider of jobs is not an easy task. The 15-member regional bloc economic community of West African states have adopted a directive in 2020 aimed at bringing cleaner fuels and vehicles to the market and it is hoped implementation will reduce pollution.